Genshin Impact version 2.8 special program. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and prepare to watch our version 2.8 trailer. Have you ever met someone by the name of Kaedahara Kazuha? Yeah. He was called away earlier by some people from the Tenryo Commission. Who's who He said that? they had something important to discuss with him. Since the Vision Hunt decree has been repealed, I no longer have any grounds to officially arrest him. Then again, I guess something very interesting is about to happen. That's it. I'm taking this case over. Yeah! Uh, fracture! I can't the crap out of him! When I touched the hilt for the first time, it's as if I was transported to a strange dimension. Is that oh, in the world? faithful retainers, this is the blessed paradise that one has been searching for. Here is where we shall witness the culmination of all things. I, who commands this? the darkness, shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. What is it? to the princess who has led here to this sacred place. My sincere gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip, your highness. Look at me, a genius astrologist forced into a juvenile role-playing game. <laughs> Lady Magistus, are you embarrassed? Stop calling me that weird name. Lady Magic... What? <laughs> excellent, most excellent. Official? That's enough. Come on, just play along. So it's like another acapella one. Hey everyone, welcome again to the Look Genshin Impact version 2.8 special program. I'm your host, Zach Aguilar, the voice of Ether, and as always, I'm excited to be joined by some very special guests. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brittany Cox, voice official, Princess Endeva Ertalang. Hello, everybody. I am Mark Witten, the voice of Kaidahara Kazuha. Ben, you there? Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Ben Pronsky, the voice of Fischl's feathery familiar Oz. And uh, as you can see, I'll be serving as a special plushie for today's program. Uh, I'm gonna leave most of the talking to you guys, but you know, I'll still chime in every now and then. You're so cute! <laughs> Good awesome. luck, man. So, uh, first things first, as everyone saw in the trailer, we've got some serious island vibes happening in version 2.8. Like yeah, the so cool. In fact, the stories of these islands are closely connected with each of the characters shown here. Mm. That's right. And so to match the beautiful island vibes, there's also an island-themed preview this time around. Let's have a look. Oh. This is so pretty. I love all the colors. Indeed. We've definitely got a lot to cover. So where would you guys like to dive in? <laughs> the character. Nice. Oh, man. <laughs> so well, uh, why don't we start from the left? 
I'm totally not saying that because Kazuha's there, so I swear. Sure, keep telling yourself that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this bubble contains screenshots from Kazuha's upcoming story quest. So I want to talk about this floating purple sword. It looks so cool. I mean, Fischl loves mm -hmm. purple. I love purple. I just need to know more. Yeah, and I think the sword looks kind of worn and beat up. So, uh, not sure if I have a good feeling about this one. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Who knows? Ooh. All good observations. I wish I could tell you more, but I am sworn to secrecy. <laughs> it's also pretty ominous. <laughs> tell us. <laughs> No, I cannot. Okay, fine. What <laughs> Next screenshot. Next screenshot, game. indeed. Successor of Ishin Art, Kaidahara Kazuha. Honored to cross blades with you. Okay, interesting. I mean, I love a good duel. Yeah, me too. And it seems like it's an important fight. That was a pretty formal sounding intro. Uh, for sure. I mean, do we have any idea who this opponent is? Hmm. Some yeah, random. it's hard to say. I think the bigger Police question officer. is why Kaz was in a duel to begin with. Like, hmm. he's not typically the kind of guy who's out looking for fights. Uh, I wish I could tell you, but I can't. These are all fantastic questions. So travelers, be prepared to check out all the details when the story quest is live. And we still have one more screenshot, I think. Sweet. What? what is going on here? Well, Kazuha's eyes are glowing purple. I mean, if it was Fischl, I mean, purple would be fine. And it looks like he's forging a blade with a hammer here. Is he possessed? Yeah, and I don't know if you noticed, but the hammer looks like it's glowing with animal power. Some travelers might remember that Kazuha is from a family of swordsmiths and that his clan was one of the Raiden Gokuden, which were the renowned swordsmith clans in Inazuma. So maybe he's decided to take up the art of forging now? Nah, he anyway, that's what looks pretty serious, so it's gotta be something pretty important happening here. Well, I can't help but feel a little worried for him. I mean, I hope he'll be all right. Well, one thing I can say is that with the traveler by his side, I'm sure we'll be in for an exciting ride. Rhymes. That rhymes. <laughs> been spending too much time with Kazuha. Sorry, it's in my, You're it's in my, a poet. It's in my veins. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> that's all we can share for now. The version update will be featuring Act One of Kazuha's all-new story quest, Acer Palmatum Chapter. I can't wait for travelers to dig deeper Isn't into the story with Kazuha. Yeah, and this bubble also contains info on another character appearing in version 2.8. That's right. Kazuha's Here we have Kazuha's good buddy, fellow Animo Vision holder and renowned Tenryo detective. Shikanoin Hazo. Oh, so they're buds. You bet. Mm. Sweet. Indeed. Uh, he's adorable. <laughs> right there he is. Check it out. He's got those determined eyes. Look at that wry mm. smile. Total detective. <laughs> he looks pretty cool. He's ready to battle. Nice and breezy for Animo. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep cool when you're fighting, man. You do, you do. True. Well, since Heizo and Kazuha are buds, I think we can let Mark introduce Heizo for us. I would love to. Heizo has quite the reputation and is the center of many stories circulating around Inazuma, which is no surprise, given that the police station's jail is crammed with criminal masterminds who were all tracked down and caught by Hazo. Uh, so you could say that he is a genius sorry. crime solver, and as a detective, it's Hazo's hope that his name would spread all across Inazuma. Though that might kind of sound like he's all about chasing fame, his real ambitions come from his views about crime. Okay, so what do you mean by that? Yeah. I'm glad you asked, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, though he has this uncanny crime-solving skills, the vast majority of the work as a detective happens only after a crime, meaning that the pain and the damage of the crime has already been done, which is not always reversible. To Hazo, you only become a true detective when your reputation is strong enough to make a person think twice before committing a crime, for fear of being caught. That's when the role of a detective has really overcome the power of crime and is preventing cases rather than only cleaning up the aftermath. 
That is so fancy. <laughs> I mean, you gotta hand it to him. Absolutely, and with these ideas in mind, Hazo has even refused promotions because he wants to stay close to the crime scenes. Mm. He believes his place is on the front line. So for outsiders, it looks kind of unfair that such a talent should stay at the bottom of the ladder. Uh, Hazo's distant cousin, Kano Nana, has always thought that he deserved to be promoted for his work. Yeah, I could Is totally get why she feels that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, and speaking of detectives, I bet Hazo knows Detective know. Sango too, right? Yes, he does, in fact. Uh, Sango and Hazo have collaborated in the past, but let's just say they ended up going their separate ways. Mmm, it sounds like Hazo is kind of like a lonely prodigy that sticks to his own ideals. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that too. Very moody there, yeah. But he's not all that lonely. I mean, he does have Kazuha as a friend. The one, right. <laughs> so how did the two of them meet? <laughs> well, Kazuha has helped Hazo in the past, using his attunement to nature. And with Hazo's sharp intuition, I guess you could say that there's a sort of a natural understanding between the two animo wielders. Oh, and you shouldn't forget Kujo Sara either. She thinks pretty highly of Hazo. Getting Kujo Sara's I'm approval sure definitely does. can't be easy, so I guess that's saying something about Hazo. Yeah, well, to be honest, even though Sara acknowledges Hazo's abilities, I think his tendency to not follow rules and roam about freely draws her sharp tongue more often than not. After all, <laughs> Hazo has his own way of doing things. And he's never in the office on time and taking care of his daily responsibilities at the station. Instead, he's always off somewhere investigating crime scenes with that uh, sparky face. So <laughs> you can only imagine what kind of headaches a subordinate like him would cause for a serious leader like Kujo Sara. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think I get the picture now. <laughs> You know, I'm sure whatever he lacks in boring office work, he makes up for with his combat abilities. So why don't we talk about that? Let's take a look at Hazo in action. Let's do it. Woo woo. There's something in the air. Something that tells me a new case is brewing. He decided to throw hands. <laughs> He makes it look effortless. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving this move set. Wow, he's cool. And that voice. Wish that was me. I mean, he's so cool, confident, and mysterious. I love it. Right, really sleuthy, yeah? Okay, so jumping right in, Shikanoin Hezo wields a catalyst and carries an animo vision. Interesting. He's like a melee catalyst user, right? We've never even seen this before. No, it's super cool. And Hazo inherited his fighting style and knowledge from his dad. But in reality, Hazo prefers to use his mind rather than his physical strength mm. and restrains from using force whenever possible. Well, that makes sense. Right. You don't want to jump to conclusions. However, when investigating criminal cases, there will always inevitably be some criminals who won't go down Fudo without a fight. Hazo is unhappy whenever he's faced with such moments, but he definitely knows how to put his agile skills to good work on the battlefield. And in addition to his normal and charged attacks, his elemental skill is also an unarmed technique. Something cool about Hazo's elemental skill is that it can be held for a charging effect, which will grant him special declension stacks. Once Hazo reaches a certain amount of declension stacks, his elemental skill's damage and AoE increase, which will definitely impact the fight in a big way. Sounds like trying to outsmart Hazo is probably a bad idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not a good one at all. When Hazo's opponents try to make a break for it and scatter wind in all directions, kick. Hazo will unleash his wind muster kick, leaping into the air and kicking something called a Fudo-style vacuum slugger towards his enemies. Ooh. The vacuum slugger will explode upon impact, dealing AoE animo damage and creating a vacuum that pulls in nearby opponents in traditional animo style. Also, when the Vacuum Slugger hits opponents affected by Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or awesome. Electro, it causes a delayed follow-up explosion, dealing damage of the corresponding elemental type. Mm. Yeah, I really like how his burst has that delayed explosion effect. Just when you think it's over, 
Boo. Oh, yeah, I think that was like Sonic <laughs> or something. And finally, with Hazo's guidance, he decreases yeah, sprinting too. stamina consumption for other party members, allowing your team to catch even the swiftest of criminals without breaking a sweat. Oh, man. Hazo sounds like such a cool character. Yeah, he totally does. And I'm sure everyone's waiting to know how they can get Hazo. But of course, Hazo will be available via a new event yes. in the early part of version 2.8. And speaking of cool characters, Kazuha, Klee, and Yoimiya will also be making a return in their very own event wishes. And finally, travelers can look forward to Hazo's very own hangout event. If you'd like to join Hazo in being a detective for a day, then you definitely should check this out. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it seems like we've covered everything in this bubble. Next, we have... Oh, it looks so pretty. Right? This is a scene from the all-new Summertime Odyssey event. Mmm. Oh, I really like how bright and open it is. So pretty. <laughs> oh, and do you see the flowers on the ground? What's with those? area has some secret connections to each of the characters that were shown there. Nice. Okay, well, let's see what happens when you interact with this instrument. It looks like it created a wind current or something. <laughs> it most certainly did. <laughs> After activating the wind current and gliding up, your plunging attack will show. deal considerable damage, which I think is going to come in pretty handy throughout this challenge. Hmm. It appears that travelers can choose an instrument to trigger the desired effect. So keep that in mind to quickly defeat enemies. Yep, put them down. Man, this place feels like a real combat zone. And judging from the surrounding area, I guess we'll need to use these mechanics to complete the challenge. Oh yeah, and in such an open area, travelers can quickly test out a variety of effects. Hmm. Nice work. So we'll receive some items which can be used in the event shop to exchange for goods. Once you've Let's collected enough though. items, you can invite Fischl to join your team. Yay! Yeah, I mean, it never hurts to have another Fischl on your team. And if you invite her, you know Oz is going to be there Fischl. right beside her. I think yep, C4 that's right. <laughs> In addition to domains, the Summertime Odyssey event will also feature a sailing game mode. Fun. Nice. Oh, there's some green spheres on the course. Can you tell us about what those do, Zach? Totally. Those are energy orbs. Travelers can use an ability to help them collect more. Oh, I see. So after collecting a few orbs, it looks like another ability is charged up. Oh, cool. It's a Whoa. speed burst. <laughs> wow, you can even break through obstacles. I'm sure that's a good way to make some shortcuts. So, can you break through everything on the course? Uh, oh, no. No, it seems there are still some obstacles you cannot get through. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, so some obstacles answer. will require timing, and others are too strong to break through. Nice. All right, let's see how long it took to get to the finishing point. Not too bad. Hmm. Nice. Summertime Odyssey will also feature tons of other content and storylines for travelers to explore. So, be sure to check it out. All right, we've already covered tons of new content, so I think it's about time for another quick break. Yep, which means it's time for another Redemption Co- Welcome back, everyone. We've seen some of the islands already, but let's dive into what other events travelers can expect to see from the beautiful island area. First on the list is a challenge event called Reminiscent Regiment. What's unique about this one is that it will be a co-op specific event. Ooh, Ooh. nice. Party yes. time. Aw, yeah. The event will include <laughs> multiple different call? game modes, so we'll start oh, with the one called Convoy. Fine, okay, so it looks like we have a pretty big raft here. It's adorable. It is, right? And <laughs> so the goal of Convoy is to protect the vessel to its destination. Let's do this. Nice, here we go. Ah, and of course, there are hilly trails attacking that we're gonna need to take care of. Help right. me, Mark! Help me! Oh. <laughs> I'm right there by your side, buddy! <laughs> uh, 
and I guess there are some barriers that are blocking the way. Uh, it seems we'll need to destroy them to clear a path for the raft. Right, and it looks like the raft's energy is continuously dropping, so we need to collect these glowing coins to recover energy. Mm. Gotta be quick on your feet or quick with the wings. And we're on the way again. Oh, uh. ether fell in the water. Hydro traveler? One day. <laughs> it looks like you're gonna need to be more careful and avoid falling in. Being a bird has its benefits, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a lot to handle, and we have to glide everywhere. But it seems we've managed to reach the destination. Yay! Woo! You know, actually, it's a lot of fun to participate in co-op games where people have to work together, you know? That mm -hmm. team spirit. Yeah. Totally. In addition to this game mode, we'll also have two other modes called Raid and Descent. Yes. In Raid, we'll need to navigate your Wave Rider and board floating platforms to battle opponents. Mm-hmm. And it seems like we'll need a way to fly. So travelers will have to sail through all the marked locations before the wind currents will activate. <gasps> and finally, in Descent. Travelers will start from a platform high in the sky and battle their way down. I love flying and battling my way down. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. That's right. <laughs> opponents on the next floating platform will only appear once you have cleared the opponents on the current floating platform. You know, I have a feeling that this event is going to lead to a lot of ridiculous moments between teammates. Yeah, for, oh, sure. for sure. Totally. <laughs> you Jinx, my... you owe me another soda. No, I have no <laughs> sodas to give. Anyways, I hope everyone will enjoy these cool co-op events. Woo! And I hope everyone has their gliding license up to date. Ooh, I just gotta check on that. <laughs> okay, now that we've covered the challenge event, let's have a look another at conch? another event coming to the island area called oh gosh, Resonating more... Visions. We're more uh, cool. This event will bring some familiar vibes for experienced players who explored the islands last year. That's right, we'll be searching for conches that contain stories again. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. So as travelers are out uh -huh. enjoying the island, and sun and exploring the map, they can also work on collecting conches. Oh, so it seems each conch will contain different pieces of a story. And once you've collected them all, you can listen and see what story is revealed. The I'm really curious we did this. to know what kind we of stories a, we'll be hearing we from conches this time. For Barbara. And, just like last time, this event will also be giving players the opportunity to unlock a new outfit. For her. Oh. Care to guess sure? who's getting a new outfit this time? Just say it. <laughs> Fischl! Oh, right. okay! In version 2.8, Fischl will be getting an all-new outfit. Ah, yay! <laughs> fit your style. Uh, I'm that crown is to you. everything. Totally fit for a her princess. Eyes are and look at her time. red eye. I don't know if you guys noticed that. No way. What, what's going on there? Yeah, I don't know. I guess you're gonna have to play to find out. And after completing the it. requirements in the event, travelers will be able to snag the snazzy new outfit for free. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Nothing's more beautiful than playing on some warm tropical islands. Mm -hmm. We've yeah. got fun events and tons of rewards, so I think it's going to be a blast. We've heard, though, that the islands have undergone some interesting changes since the last time we visited with Klee. There will be fresh so exploration mechanics to try, so girl. travelers can look forward to an updated island experience. I hope everyone will have fun and, you know, make lots okay, of beautiful so my memories guess it's, visiting it changes the islands again. Every yeah, time, can't so wait like, to go like back. a certain person goes. In addition to the island events, version 2.8 will also be featuring a variety of other updates. <laughs> mm -hmm. First up, d Luke will also be receiving a new outfit, which will be available to purchase in the shop. Oh, Travelers can learn cool. the backstory behind the outfit, the which is super cool, by playing through the Hidden Stripe Challenge event. I am living for that ponytail. <laughs> All right? The Can new hair, the sharp tails looks they're epic. They're that red higher. and black color scheme is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so good. And as a matter of fact, like this will be the game symbol, first like, ever five-star right outfit. Here. Wait, but we already have outfits for Jean and Kutching now. Right, but this outfit itself is five stars. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Ah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yep. So let's take a look at what travelers can expect to see in the Hidden Stripe event. So, it looks like we can try out d Luke's new outfit. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, oh so, so the cool. costume has some new effects outfit. for d Luke. Indeed it does. There's even a new idol animation included with this costume, and it's pretty sweet. I don't see d Luke's vision anywhere on this outfit. Huh. 
So, uh, does he keep it in his pocket, or maybe it's tucked away somewhere else? <laughs> um, don't look at me. Uh, but it I looks like there will be lots of backstory to go along with the outfit. So it. be sure to check that out. Interesting. So in addition to the backstory content, what kind of challenges can travelers expect? Well, it'll be similar to the Phantom Flow event that we've had before, with a variety of set objectives for travelers to reach. So after completing an objective, a special after-image might effect will be unlocked, which will add buffs for the next battles. Nice. Next, version 2.8 will have an event that's all about gears and components. It's called Evermotion Mechanical Painting. Sweet puzzles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one looks really interesting. <laughs> hmm. Wow. So it looks like we need to take the components and place them on this mechanical board. Yeah. Oh, you know, all this mechanical that out. stuff reminds me of things we've seen from Fontaine before. Huh. I think you might be right about that one. Okay. Seems like the gears need to fit together. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. They're starting to rotate now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that didn't look too hard. Like, I was so I'm confused bad. for a second. But I was like, yeah, uh, I'm guessing the later stages of the event probably won't be so simple. Right, right. Yeah, this, this one looks like it's separated into an upper and about. lower level. So that's going to be a little bit tougher. Travelers will have to think about how to move the gears on different levels. And oh, neat. There's even gears made for two levels. <laughs> These are going to be tricky to solve. Speaking of which, we probably shouldn't show the players too much gameplay here. But we don't want to ruin the puzzles for everyone. It'll be no fun if everyone watched us solve them. What Brittany means to say is she has no idea how to solve the puzzle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben, I thought you were done talking. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> okay, I believe we've covered most of the main content travelers can expect in version 2.8. Which means it's probably time to take another quick break. Mm -hmm. And another quick break means another redemption code! Yeah. And just as a reminder, we'll still have some exciting info following the break, so be sure to stick around. Welcome back, everyone! Before we reach the end of today's program, we have another special announcement to share with everybody. Mm-hmm, that's right. There will be a new addition to the game's soundtrack. Genshin Impact's commemorative OST album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume 2, will be released soon. And this particular album contains many memorable pieces of music from the game, including music from the moment Kazuha blocks the Shogun's Musono Hitotachi. We also have a trailer for the new soundtrack. Let's take a look. to coming in version 2.8. Oh, yeah, I am officially super excited about version 2.8. See what I did there? Yes. Uh, nice. <laughs> especially all the cool new outfits. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for Evermotion Mechanical Painting and it, checking out the islands and conquering all of the puzzles in these upcoming events. You will leave Ooh. no puzzle undone. <laughs> no puzzle. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to say I'm super excited to be here with Brittany and Ben on what is our first appearance on the program. So thank you so much for having us. Yay. And uh, I you can't guys are wait awesome. for You're cousin. awesome. <laughs> no, you're awesome. No, you're awesome. <laughs> you're all awesome. Uh, look at us, big family. And we can't forget our special plushie, Ben. <laughs> How was your first special program? Uh. All right, and that Same. just about does it for today's special program. Travelers can keep an eye out for future official announcements to get more information on version 2.8. And that's it for us. Thanks, everyone. See you in game. Later, y'all. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> okay, so. Wow. Yeah, this place is hopping with activity. What? The sunshine makes the sandy beaches here glow like the embers of a pyro slime. And next to the cool, sparkly water, what a view! I don't know who's If voice only the is. desert sand and the jungle ring could get along like this, that would be perfect. Oh, you can hear me? 
Yes. Mm, how curious. Huh? You say you're a traveler? Mm, well then, maybe I could offer you a bit of knowledge, and in return, you can tell me your story. How about it? Sumeru? She looks cool. You'll have to wait until we meet in person, though. But I'm sure Destiny will bring our paths together soon. Is this the Dendro Archon talk? <laughs>